infamous Chef Nino and our beautiful live audience. It seems like it grows and grows every time. It does. Exactly. Thank y'all for coming out and thank you for watching. You're going to love this one. It's, we, we have never done a side. Right. We normally do the entree, main or dessert, but we had a nice side. I lived in Italy 13 years. I brought this recipe from there, a caponata. A caponata. So caponata. for those of us who aren't familiar with this dish, what is it kind of like? Well, go to Google. You can find out, okay? Or we could ask you. Yeah, no, I'm just sorry. A caponata is a typical Italian, kind of a southern Italian. Now, I live in Sicily. Now, they'll take a caponata and they'll put uh, uh, an octopus uh, that's been cooked in the, the caponata or the big Sicilian swordfish or tuna and then make a caponata. So it can be a side or a main by addition of uh, some fish or something like right. that. So right. what are the ingredients that we're using the today? Ingredients in it. Well, you should have you asked me. I would have told you. I am asking you. Okay. Hello. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, I really have a lot of fun doing these shows. Seriously, thank y'all for the opportunity for this. And it's so a privilege for me to represent the Rouses. And uh, anyway, it's good, good to see y'all. Thank y'all. All right. Uh, it's a fried eggplant. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, bell pepper, onion. You saute that down. Okay. Then you're going to put your uh, pine nuts in that. Uh, your celery, some capers. Uh -huh. All right. And a little bit of red wine vinegar and let it cook down. And you, we have some tomatoes from Italy, little cherry tomatoes, vine ripened from Italy. That's why I love shopping at Rousey. You get food products from all over the world. Right. Just some cut up olives and some parsley. And I'm telling you, that's going to cook down and that's going to make that caponata. If you never had it, you're going to see it. You're going to try it if you're here and you're going to absolutely love it. Yeah, so good. Now, I do want to talk about Rouse's real quick. You guys are so busy in the fall, but <laughs> you're yeah. gearing up for it's, football's already here. Holidays oh will be here before goodness. we know it. Look, look here. Come shopping when you don't need to come shopping. You're going to find all these tailgating ideas you go uh, we have everything already prepared for you in the deli you can order uh, trays and that kind of thing for your next get-together we'll do it for you or you can go in the smokehouse what we call the Cajun specialty meats and we have all kind of things from the pack to the pit to the plate all right I call it scratch assist cooking ready to go bacon wrap stuff jalapenos uh, boudin, pork, boudin uh, stuffed pork chops stuffed chicken thighs from the pack to the pit to the plate. You'll never run out of ideas at the tailgating headquarters on the Gulf Coast. I'm telling the truth, That's come right. see us. That's right, and they make it so easy. Like you said, it's already packaged, so you can just put it in the oven, fry it, with it do whatever you need to do. But of course, you got to visit your local houses to check it out. But when we come back, we're gonna start simmering all these good goodness together. That's right, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna chop this up, we're gonna simmer it, and we're gonna show you the process. I'm all right. so excited, stay with us. Thanks for watching, see you later. Welcome back. We are here at the Rouse's Markets in Westmobile, and Chef Nino has been cracking us all up. Oh, look, look. When the camera goes off, we still have a live audience at this beautiful Rouse's store here in Schillinger and Airport. Y'all come out every now and then. Check out your local listings, uh, Rouse's Facebook and that kind of thing, Rouse.com. And also, these recipes can be found on uh, 10 Fox. I mean, FoxTenTV.com. Fox I'm going to get that right one day, okay? Yeah. FoxTenTV.com, yeah, you want to check out the recipe. But we do have a lot of fun with Chef Nino Live, so come yeah. out and hang out with us one day. Yeah. Now, for our friends at home who are just now tuning in, we are making the perfect Italian side dish today. Right. Caponata. Y'all say it with me, y'all. Caponata. Caponata. That's right. Y'all doing really good, okay? Uh -huh. Caponata, yeah. All right. Um, now, while y'all were... Uh, Wait, you can do the eggplant different ways, okay? All right. Typically, eggplant is going to have a bitter flavor. So you're going to cut it up in pieces, and you're going to put put some salt in it, a lot of salt. And it's going to draw that bitterness out. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to wash it off and towel it dry. Now, you can either saute it down, or you do like I did, a little bit of olive oil and, of course, no salt, and put it in the oven. That's where we are right now, okay, with this right here. Let me see your spoon. Yeah, Thank right. you. Yeah. That's where we are. Perfect eggplant, y'all. A lot easier. And it's not going to absorb a lot of the oil uh, from frying it. And it's going to heat up your house, that kind of thing, you know. All right. So the, the steps is we want to saute these uh, onions and bell peppers uh, and celery down. Okay. Then we're going to put the cooked, fried, or baked eggplant in with it. We're going to put in our uh, tomatoes. From All right. Italy. For, yeah, these are, these are imported from Italy. The Rouses has... 
several products right from Italy. They bring in products from all over the world, Thailand, Italy, China, that kind of thing. Really nice stuff. Then we have some imported olives right here. All right, then we're gonna put in our pine nuts. And if you want to, you can kind of roast these. Get a skillet, roast them a little bit. It can take away some of the bitter. That's optional. And we've done that before for a recipe. They were super good roasted. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. What did we make with that? I'm trying to remember. We'll have to, we'll have yeah. to We've been back. doing this a while now, huh? Right. Look back at the archives. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but um, <laughs> we have the uh, capers also, okay? These are, these are from uh, Italy or Greece, that area right there. Okay, now this is ready. We're gonna go ahead and put in our our egg cooked eggplant. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Notice she's doing more cooking on the show. You know what I believe? Fox 10 going to eliminate Chef Nino and just have her do everything. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like she's in training for this. Whoa, know? we may not have these uh, high quality recipes. Oh, thank you I'm so much. I'm still learning from you, Chef you. Nino. Still learning. All right. We're going to put in our tomatoes. Uh huh. But you're so juicy. And look at the color, bright red. They're vine ripened in Italy, packed, ready to go, okay? All right, we're gonna put in our capers. Now we wash these capers, okay? All right. What are capers? They're a berry. Uh-huh. Um, and they grow in a cluster, all right? And then they put in a salt brine, maybe, and, 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 it, and it makes them soft. And then they separate the pods and they put the little capers. Some are large, some are small. Typically in the Mediterranean, around Greece and uh, Italy and all the islands, that kind of thing, they have them, you know? Yeah. All right. Then we're going to put in our pine nuts. Okay. Mm, wait, hold on. Too much. All right. Then we're going to put in our red wine vinegar. These colors are beautiful. Isn't that nice? And Wait till you try it, you're gonna love it. I know, and, and doing all this, you're stacking the flavors as well from all those. Stacking the flavors, I like that. That is a great, great, uh, I'm learning, I'm learning. yeah, wow, look at that. All right, we're gonna just let that simmer all together for about five minutes. Yeah. And of course, we don't need to put any salt because we have the salt uh, from the eggplant when we, when we washed and drained it. We are gonna put a little bit of black pepper. Mm -hmm. Now folks, this is textbook caponata. It's gonna come together, really kind of almost make like a stew. And then you're gonna let it cool and we're gonna spoon that over some of these wonderful uh, crackers that we found uh, mingling around the rouses. And I wanna show you what we have from all over the world. Yep. Uh, all right. So we got to take a break or we can continue. Let's do, you want to add the cilantro or yeah. parsley? Parsley, yes ma'am. Let's add the parsley. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Look at that. Well, it's beautiful. When we come back, we're going to plate it. Joe's going to get to try it so you don't want to miss out. Stick don't miss it. Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. All right. Welcome back into Rouse's here go. with Chef Nino. We've got an international show today. We got someone in the audience from England. Yeah. You lived in Italy for a little. That's while. right. This is very international. Yes. Got somebody from West Virginia back there. Oh man, <laughs> very international. Yeah. Yeah. The, hey, the country everybody. of West Virginia. Yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, what are you working on today? Hold on. I got my 3D glasses. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. So stand and, back uh, for your screens. And we're gonna put these for the camera so you at your house can go 3D without even leaving your house. That's wow. right. Amazing technology. You can go 3D and never leave the farm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so, so our caponata. Okay. It's a combination, it's a very Italian uh, dish with the eggplant, onions, bell pepper, celery, uh, red wine vinegar, capers, uh, pine nuts, salt, pepper, olives, tomatoes. Yeah, how about that? And we've talked about this before on the show, but if you're just tuning in for the first time, you lived in Italy for a while and Rouse's has some direct links with Italy too. The family goes there often, goes to food shows and restaurants, and they bring back many of those things. That's a, that's a God's honest truth. This is not a gimmick. It's the truth. The Ross family loves food from all over the world, especially and when they like it, they want to pass it on to the customers. And, and this is it says 40 Italian toast. We're using Italian toast. I asked you during the commercial break if you can make a toast in Italian. Oh yeah. First of all, I want to make a toast to all of my friends out there. Yeah. Yes. In Italiano, no diciamo a me piace tutte queste folie della gente. How good. How about that? All right, how about that, oh, yeah. Bilingual. Yeah, it costs a lot, I had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I want you, <laughs> Mr. Joe, I want you to try it. Yo, you gotta see this audience. <laughs> All right, let's try it on a toast, my brother. All right. Now remember, you can do it like that as an appetizer or get you some ahi tuna that we sell or some whatever fish you want and put in there. It works really nice, look at that. Well, Bart. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we also, it's delicious though, lots of flavor. You understand what we're working with here? Let me see. Sloppy, yes. Delicious, yes. Two for two. Mmm. Mmm. And you know what? What are we going to do? Mmm. You know what? Mmm. I have a little bit of a bottle. This is good stuff, y'all. Audience, you ready to try this out? All right. Thank y'all for watching. Find the Couple recipe here at Rouse's. Rouse's.com. Check it out. See you at one of the Rouse's, I promise. We'll try to talk better next time. <laughs>